Is Superman dead? Maybe. Maybe. Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman. Thanks so much for stopping by. So what I'm gonna talk about today is just that. Is Superman dead? Is Superman an obsolete symbol in today's times? So this is a hard one, right? Superman has been around for 1938, what's that? I don't math, 90 years almost, 85 years, 86 years. Um, no, yes, 85 or 86 years, something, 84 years. Um, and he's always been a symbol of hope, a symbol of power, a symbol of pos uh, positivity and inclusion. Uh, a lot of people miss that bit, the inclusion bit, but I think it's a really important part of what Superman is because you have to remember that Superman is an alien from another planet coming here to live, to be part of our lives, to assimilate into a new race, a new species, a new home. And it's all about that acceptance and, and, and accepting someone who is different. In this case, sure, he is different in terms of his abilities, not necessarily the color of his skin or his race, uh, sorry, his religion or his creed or uh, his ethnic background. He's different because he's from a different planet and he can do different things. But the symbolism is there. You can look into other symbolism. Of course, you can look at the Christ allegory uh, or even the Moses allegory. You can spin it any way you want. You know, there have been tons of videos about what Superman really represents. I'm talking in my, in my opinion, how I see the character. So what are his ideals? What are, what are his ideals? There's the inclusion, there's the positivity, there's the friendship, there's the looking to the, looking for the best in humanity, hope. Um, it's all about finding a, a, a better way to coexist and to accept other people for their faults, for their strengths, for everything. And so with those ideals, you have a universal sort of idea of what Superman is. So we have many different versions of Superman. You know, we've got, you know, we've got the comics, we've got the television shows. We've got the cartoons, which is a television show. <laughs> We've got the radio series. We've got the movies. Many different types of Superman, Superman, Supermans, Supermen, Kryptonians uh, in the movies. So, you know, you've got Christopher Reeve. You've got Brandon Routh. You've got um, Henry Cavill. You've got now David Cornsweet. You've got the live action uh, Dean Cain. Uh, you've got Tyler Hecklin. You've got, I'm missing one, am I? Oh, you've got George Reeves, I'm, you know, the Kirk Allen, all the different versions, right? So the point is, bringing it back to is Superman dead? What I mean is, are his ideals dead? Are the things that he represents, the things that he is a symbol of dead? Because we have such a divided fan base, especially now, especially now, right? So. You can go on social media and argue with anybody about anything, really. And so this divided fan base has created a bit of a, a toxic uh, breeding ground for negativity and hate and, and not tolerate, uh, non-tolerance of other people's versions of Superman. I've seen so many people give other people just negative arguments and mean-spirited things solely on the version of Superman that they like. But doesn't that go against everything that Superman is about? Inclusion, hope, diversity. Why do we feel as humans to discredit or belittle somebody else's opinion based on our own? Everybody's opinion is subjective, 
It's not, it, it's not fact. Um, I can tell you that my opinion is that Christopher Reeve is the best Superman that we've seen. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to tell you that if you love Henry Cavill that you're wrong. Like, I love Henry Cavill. I love them all. But, like, this is creating such a harsh environment. And it's because, now, I, I, I bring it to the reboots, right? Have Do we have too many reboots now? Like, so we've got Superman the movie, Superman 2, Superman 3, Superman 4. The reboot, well, the soft reboot, Superman Returns which was, what, 20 years or so after the last Superman movie. And then the sh then seven years later, right, 2013, Man of Steel came out really, really soon. And we got what we got with Henry Cavill. Unfortunately, we, we didn't get a lot of it, but it is what it is. And then even sooner still came this new Superman legacy, now Superman. So the time between reboots is getting really short. I remember when um, uh, uh, Andrew Garfield ended his reign as Spider-Man and Tom Holland came in with the reboot so quickly. I was like, wow, that's lightning fast. Like, because reboots used to be 15, 20 years minimum. So are we lost in the reboots? Are we spoiled with too many reboots, giving us too, much, uh, too many options and uh, with, with not enough time in between so you've got so many multi-generational uh, Superman fans that are just arguing with each other about who the best one is and it's destroying what Superman is meant to be about right it's it's destroying if I'm a Superman fan and I'm talking about my favorite Superman and somebody comes in with something really nasty I'm I get sad about it. Like I get, I get to the point where I don't want to talk about Superman. I'm, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about like just in general. But people will get to the point where they don't want to talk about it anymore. And you get to the point where all you do when you talk about it is argue about it. Like Star Wars. Star Wars fans are the worst. <laughs> like I have never met fans that can love something and hate something so much. But that's sort of what Superman fans are becoming. And once you cross that threshold of never having something nice to say, then yes, the character truly is dead because people will stop talking about it because they will be afraid of the repercussions of talking about it. So what do we need? A, and this is me talking on my high horse, right? Whatever. Um, what do we need? We need tolerance. We need to not sit on our keyboards and just argue with somebody for the sake of arguing just to try to change their mind about something they'll never change their mind about because we want to be right. There's no right or wrong with opinion. There are exceptions. <laughs> um, we need to wait, I think is a big thing. Like there needs to be like, as soon as the, the casting was announced for the new Superman movie, Nobody was willing, and this is what happens all the time when they recast a major character. Nobody wants to wait. They just want to trash it and say it's going to be crappy and this and that, you know, but nobody ever learns because that happens. And a lot of the times we get it and it's like, wow, that's really awesome. Sometimes we get it and it's not great. I have a feeling we're going to get it and it's going to be pretty awesome. So we need to wait. We need to accept that there are other opinions other than ours because otherwise Superman truly will be dead. Superman is that ideal of hope, that ideal of inclusivity and diversity and friendship. So without any of that stuff changing, yes, unfortunately, Superman will die. Not in the sense that Superman will stop being an IP that people continue to push out, push out, push out, and will always get more content, more content, more content. But part of the thrill of being a Superman fan is the community, right? So part of Superman can die in that way. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'll eat my words. But I think of enough people... <laughs> I'll, I'll quote Superman 4 to end this with. There will be peace. There will be peace when the people of the world want it so badly that their governments will have no choice but to give it to them. And what I mean by that is that Superman will survive in a much better way if people just accept that... 
other opinions exist. So, so look, that's, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Um, just a bit of a stream of consciousness. Uh, so please remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding. Follow me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.